The DRDO has successfully conducted four flight tests of the Abyaz high speed expendable aerial target and accomplished four distinct mission objectives, and it is now ready for production and export. Armenian Defense Minister has highlighted India and France as key defense partners, and that Armenia is also in discussions for several big ticket acquisitions. Pakistan has issued a no-time warning for radar decoy deployment in the Arabian Sea of Karachi, which suggests a potential test of an anti-radiation missile targeting warships. Maldivian President has announced large-scale expansion and upgrade of Maldivian military with help from Turkey. He also said that he did not want to give a foreign nation the power to measure and map the Maldivian oceans and coastlines, and Maldives armed forces will soon be able to conduct surveillance of the country's exclusive economic zone. Maldives President has announced implementation of free trade agreement with China. IIT Kanpur has established and tested the country's first hypervelocity expansion tunnel test facility known as S2, that will be capable of generating flight speeds between 3 to 10 km per second, simulating the hypersonic conditions encountered during hypersonic cruise missiles and ballistic missiles. The Defence Ministry will grant acceptance of necessity to the 9,000 crore rupees proposal to purchase six improved Netra Mark 1A next week. The government has extended the emergency procurement powers to the Indian Armed Forces for another six months, however, a tug of war is brewing between the Armed Forces and the Ministry of Defence, over the continuation of emergency procurement powers. Hindustan Aeronautics has unveiled a three-phase plan to upgrade 250 Su-30 fighter jets, under which older fighter jets that were inducted in 2002 will be upgraded first. The first phase will see 84 aircraft upgraded with over 50 major components from 2025. Upgrading in batches will allow the Air Force to maintain a significant portion of its Su-30 fleet operational, while undertaking upgrades on older aircraft. IIT Madras and Munitions India Limited have joined forces to develop India's first indigenously designed 155mm smart ammunition within two years. The primary objective of this project is to significantly enhance the accuracy of the 155mm shell, and achieve a circular error probability of 10 meters, that can be seamlessly integrated into existing 155mm artillery guns without requiring any modifications. The Indian Air Force operates about 66 MiG-29 aircraft while the Navy operates 35 MiG-29K aircraft, and latest reports indicate that India is planning to locally manufacture advanced RD-33 MK engines at Hindustan Aeronautics, that will be used for upgrading its MiG-29 fighter jets, and this purchase will be done out of the budget allocated this year. The RD-33 MK offers increased thrust and longer assigned service life, as well as improved corrosion protection of parts and components. The DRDO is developing next-generation gallium nitride radars for the Netramark 1A and Netramark 2 airborne early warning and control aircraft, that will provide exceptional long-range detection, and its advanced sensor suites will be specifically designed for comprehensive identification of objects in air, sea and land surveillance. The gallium nitride technology will enable the radars to detect even smaller and future targets at extended ranges of 500 km, even under challenging conditions with heavy clutter and jamming attempts. Today's top 3 comments, 